you're watching this video, you're probably interested in a TaylorMade Stealth 2 driver, but you need to have the right shaft to pair with the Stealth 2 head. And that's why Kevin Kraft has joined us today. We've got all the stock shaft offerings from the TaylorMade Stealth 2 package. We're gonna test them out. We're gonna look at all the data, talk about the feel and all the performance, and tell you everything that you need to know to make that decision. Call first, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments which shaft is in your Stealth 2 driver. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, master club fitter here uh, from Columbia. Yep. At Minnetonka today. Twinsies. Twinsies. <laughs> Twinsies. Same uh, from head to toe, actually. <laughs> We're in the same, same thing. shoes. Um, yeah. May or may not be coordinated. Uh, we'll, we'll maybe touch on that later. Maybe not. Uh, Taylor made Stealth 2 today. Uh, this dropping is, the deuce. Dropping the deuce. Taylor made Stealth 2. Uh, five stock shafts. Um, with the Stealth 2 family. Yes. So uh, important to obviously make sure the right shaft is in the driver because as we say, shaft is the engine of the club. That is correct. So talk to me about these, talk to me about Stealth 2. I mean, what are we, I mean, what do you see so far? So, you know, we got some new offerings this year. Uh, new Kylie Red, gonna be a little higher launching shaft. Yep. We've got a Ventus TR Red. So kind of falls in between what would be the blue that was one of the stock shaft last year and the, the Ventus red sure. itself. Uh, we got the new Diamana uh, S plus 60. Uh, really nice shaft. Diamana's had uh, really great offerings mm -hmm. all along. This is the newest generation of the Diamana. Yep. We got hazardous uh, generation four on the hazardous black, yep. a little smoother, lower launching. And then we've got the, seems like the uh, very consistent Kylie yeah. white. Uh, pretty much everybody's got it. So yeah. TaylorMade should have it as well. Yeah, so we've got a bunch of these kind of shaft, um, you know, stock shaft test videos out. Yep. And we are seeing a lot of Kylie, a lot of yep. hazardous smoke black. Yep. Uh, also some Kylie blue and red and yeah, you know, it's, across um, the board with all these different manufacturers too. It's glad to see uh, Mitsubishi bring expand that Kylie line because yeah. uh, the, the, the white's such a good feeling shaft. Yeah. Low launch, low spin, expanding it into the blue, expanding mm -hmm. it into the red. Yeah. Right. So today we kind of want to just test this TaylorMade Stealth 2 head um, mm -hmm. with each of these shafts and yeah. get your thoughts on how it feels, but also we'll get the performance, makes the track man, yep. and ultimately line up the numbers and see if things kind of line up as to how we think they will, right? Mm -hmm. With sort of these higher launching shafts giving you more spin and more height, and then obviously you get that decreasing with the lower launching shafts. So um, it's kind of a hypothesis, and now as the scientists, we gotta go do the test. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Probably a little off the bottom of the club. Felt a little tiny bit low. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It's not in the quadrant of death, mind you. It's not. But it's in the quadrant of high speed anyway. <laughs> that almost hit well. All right. Okay. Kylie Red. Kylie Red. Four swings, couple of different ones in there. We had yeah. the kind of the low face one, which brought the spin up on average to 2640. Yep. yep. Um, those which are is not far off from where the other two that were hit, you know, reasonably solid yeah. were. Yeah, either, so. right, right. So yeah. it's, it's, yeah. So 261 average, 284 total, over 100 feet in the air. Launch at 12.6, which I feel like that's relatively low for kind of, I don't know, the being a mid launch, mid trajectory type of. Yeah. And knowing what I know about your golf swing. Yeah. Um, but. Landing angle is pretty decent. It's a little bit on the high side, but yeah. it's a little bit on the high side based on spin rate, probably more than anything yeah, else. Yeah, right. So. Right. <clears throat> um, map here, three, uh, two out of four on the fairway, all four in play. In play is good, right? In play is good. We definitely we definitely like keeping the ball in play. And it, yes. It isn't always about being in the center of the fairway. It's, you know, for me on, on this particular uh, screen, I want it to be between the trees and the bunker. Yep. And I can play pretty then much Then you can play it and get up and down for birdie and yeah. we're all good. Yeah. All right. All right. Ventus TR Red? TR Red. So the TRs kind of 
they fall between the models. So a straight red would be higher launching than this. Yeah. The blue would be a little lower launching than this. So this one is says mid high trajectory. So okay. let's see if we hit this one a little bit higher than the uh, okay. than the Kylie. A little more toward the toe. You could uh, have convinced me otherwise. Yeah, spin kind of came up a little bit. Not far off either, which is good. I like the, kind of like the dispersion we're getting here. It's working. It's trying. Oh, there it is. Woo. And it's dead straight. Interesting. Interesting. That's a little bit better dispersion. Okay, so we got four balls in the fairway. Four out of four. Big fan of that. Yeah. All right, numbers. Okay. It did go 5. higher. Did go higher. As the did launch higher. Would maybe, would maybe yeah. indicate, right? That's a mid-high. Yeah. Spin was less. Yeah, did that's Did not hit it as solidly, which... Didn't matter I because of the spin. somewhat debatable. Yeah, but it didn't matter uh, because of the spin. Yeah, did lower and, the spin. And uh, that generated more distance. Launch angle came up. Landing angle came up. Okay. All right. Pretty I good found, trend there. I found the feel of this one to be a little bit better than the, the Kylie red. Yeah. Red, I find a little bit hard to okay. find that find that balance. All right. Well, Diamana S plus. Ooh. That was smooth. Down goes the spin. Yeah. How about up that? goes the distance. How about that? Down came the trajectory. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's a nice ball. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we saw some improvements here. Yeah. Improvements in the sense of, for you, better numbers. Yes. Carry number was up by 0 0.1 yards, hmm. but the total was up by three and a half. Yep. Spin was dropped. Uh, actually, weirdly, launch went down. Peak height was down. But I like this dispersion the best, I think. Yeah, I, I the think The orange one's pretty too. good. Yeah, yeah. These three are all the furthest of the day. You have the one over here. And I'm still I'm, in play. I'm okay with the one on the edge there. It's not in the bunker. That's my yeah, prerequisite right, here. Right. I don't want it in the bunker. And I'm okay seeing the right side of yeah. things. I just don't really like seeing the left side. Okay. Of things. Okay. So this one was this one was pretty good. All right. Diamond's profile, very nice, smooth, felt good. Okay. Produced pretty good numbers. So hazardous black now. Oh yay. Okay. The uh, the old sticker here. Low trajectory. Oh, low trajectory. So I'm gonna keep her on, see some changes. I'm gonna keep her on nine. Okay. We're gonna see how that goes. Uh oh, are we gonna get 160? Oh, we are. 160. 2700 RPM of spin. I 28, just, essentially. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I hit that one good. Okay. 148 math? Yeah. That's that might be pretty this, normal for me. This might be four, this clubhead. Four sevens, four yeah. eights, kind of the world I live in. Yeah. I don't see fives very much for whatever reason. I guess I'm just not a very good driver of the golf ball. I don't know. Well, I disagree. That one has a high launch to it. All right. Well, two balls in a row over 290 yards. Yes, but two balls in a row over 2,500 RPM of spin. All right, a little higher, a little to the toe. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna hit one more. I'm calling an audible. I'm gonna hit yep. one more. Yeah. Ooh, there's some distance. That's, there's that's that's a little bit more in, online. That's just better. So I'm still amazed by that. So so this one I think is the one that's kick really it out. kick it out, get it out of there. Actually, I want to do something. In in my heart, I can deal with 2,700, 2,800 RPM. I yeah. can't deal with over 3,000. It hurts. I me. wanted to see. 
Okay, so that's the thing that is weird. Yeah, I. It, you are in the dead center of the face. Yeah. Yeah. And it and registered it turned, and it turned 30, over. 45. It, it turned over. Is it a is it a misread or is I mean I I I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. We got. I mean, these are. I think this is just a higher spinning head. I think that's what it is. It is a higher spinning head, or at least it's designed as a higher spinning head. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about compared to the other testing we've done today. Stay tuned to the channel for, you know, Paradigm, <laughs> yeah. Ping yeah. G430, yes. Aerojet. Yeah. We've done yeah. videos like this with yeah. those drivers. Yeah. And the spin rates with this head yeah. are much higher when using this shaft than yeah. anything else. That is correct. Because, like, these, the, the hit locations are in that barely in that high toe. It's and in a pretty happy place. 25 plus 100. Yeah. This one got way out high toe and finally oh. we dropped it down to 18. Yeah. I mean, those are happy hit locations. I know. They really I know. are. They're like, really that's, good. That's Your what dial. I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. I don't want to say this is a mystery because right. it's... It, it's mm. It's got to be. Ah. I don't know. Okay. Well. Four of the five, the four best of the five. Yeah. That's what we get. Yep. We have. We will keep that caveat in there, saying we. Don't, I mean, who knows? But yeah. Um, I, I like the circle. I mean, I'm the a consistency. Big fan of the circle. Yeah, the consistency was right. great. I know. I like the way this shaft feels and performs. Yeah. For me, so I'm not surprised to see you know a nice, a nice little little circle there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just, I'm okay. shocked. Yeah. Well. That's my shocked face. Kylie White here. Good. So, we are have Kylie Red's bigger, stronger, beefier brother. Yeah. Kylie White. Okay. Uh, it's been a pretty standard issue shaft for most of the brands. So, um, yeah, we kind of maybe have an idea of what to, what we're going to expect in this. Yeah. What I didn't expect in this was that <laughs> the, the person that I've, I've, I'm now dedicating so much of my heart and soul to has no idea who Jimi Hendrix is. <laughs> I mean, I can maybe see you not knowing who who Stevie Ray Vaughan was, I suppose. Yeah. But Jimi Hendrix. This is a oh nice little God. look into the conversations we have when the camera is not recording. Wow. But yeah. I, I mean, I understand I'm old, and you know, Hendrix was even somewhat before my time. But see, I didn't know that even. Jimi Hendrix. I don't know. Man. Tell yeah. me in the comments if I'm that much of a loser. Yeah, definitely. Let's let's get the let's get the comments rolling on this one. Let's <laughs> let's let's see it, folks. Back me up here. <laughs> Oi. All right. This is good. This is good. I'm enjoying that. That one's going right. It is redeemed. <laughs> Nineteen oh three. That's before. Now that's before my time. I have no idea. What the, <laughs> I have no idea what the music was in nineteen oh three. Okay. A little toey. Ooh. Okay. I mean, legitimately. All right. It's it's a good spin rate, right? Twenty three hundred. Yeah. Nothing to sneeze at. Okay. Yeah. I just, in the greater scheme of what we've got up here, I thought it would be lower. Yeah, I, I mean, I did too. Yeah. Also worth noting, highest launching of the day is Kylie White. Um, height, peak height, by T height this much. I don't know. The highest. So Everybody asks about T height. How high should I tee it? I mean, I tee it this high when I want to hit it low, and I tee it this high when I want to hit it high, and... Everywhere in between. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, some interesting results today. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll bring up the dispersion map here. So I think we have a winner for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, looking at this, uh, distance is important, right? Yeah. We know that distance is important, but so is dispersion. Yeah. Everybody got the same number of shots. Mm-hmm. Though I think we only did four with the hazardous because we didn't need to do any more. Right, right. Um, I mean, they're yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, yeah, we got four with every one. Yeah, there, I think. no, everybody, everybody got four, four shots. So, um, yeah. So for that you, was... hazardous black is the winner, and this is a little bit what it would look like in a fitting. Now, I, I don't think time-wise it might be a tough to do five different shafts, but 
Yeah. You already know ahead of time based on the player's profile. Like, for example, in this one, yeah. you're not going to even, for a player of your swing, Kylie Red probably isn't even going to be a test. Correct. You're Correct. not going to use yeah. that one. Or Correct. even the Ventus TR Red. Yeah. Um, you'll probably go straight to the Hazardous Black, maybe. Probably um, a good place to, for me to start. Yeah. yeah. So um, anyway, that kind of gives an indication of why the shaft matters. Because mm -hmm. I think you look at the dispersion circle, you see one that kind of pops out at you, and you're like, I want that one. Yeah. And it, with these other shafts, you don't really get that. Yeah, it certainly wouldn't be the one in white. Right. Correct. <laughs> I agree with that. Yes. Uh, there is a lot of shots in the fairway up here, but I think there's just and one. And that's a you, good thing. You know, I will take a little bit of credit for that. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, um, but I think there's yeah. one circle that is going to hit more fairways more often, and there's also plenty of distance up there, too. Yeah. I think actually on average, it's about it a yard the, behind the best actually, one. It was actually, yeah, so. it was a yard behind the, the Diamana. <sighs> yeah, so yeah. Um, anything, I mean... I don't know what else there is to add other than golfers come get fit because yeah. you want that circle. You um, do, definitely. You want that circle for your game and your tee shots. Or so tight. That's, yep. that's, I mean, mic drop. Distance and dispersion. Yes. Distance and dispersion. Distance and dispersion with the right shaft, the right engine for your club. Yes. Uh, Kevin, thank you for hitting the shots today. Absolutely. Very fun test, very interesting results. Yes. Um, Listen to some Hendrix. Seriously. <laughs> Listen to some Hendrix. I'll get, I'll get right on that. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.